Hey guys, what's going on? And uh, welcome to Life is Strange. So, uh, this game has been out for a long time, and I know that. But, uh, Life is Strange True Colors is coming out, and I, obviously no one's played that yet. So, I want to do the Life is Strange and Life is Strange 2 before we get into Life is Strange 3, technically. Uh, there's not a 3 after, but it's the third one. Um, that way, we can do it on the channel, because that then that makes sense. But, I've already played Life is Strange 1 and 2. Well, I didn't play 2, but I've seen, like, most of 2. Um, but I played through this one all the way, um, so there's not really much of a point to me playing this game. Um, but that's why I have Zach and Isabel here, um, and, you know, they, they've, I know the contents of the game, and for those that have played Slash Sheena, you know it too. Um, so I had to ask them like 16 times, like, hey, there's stuff in this game that you two shouldn't be mature enough for, and they both told me they, they were. So, we're going to test that because, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in this game that's a little on the strange side. Get it? Because life is strange. Anyway, um, so we're just going to dive in because we're going to... So, what this is going to do is it's going to be a shorter series, but they're going to be super long episodes. Kind of like DDLC, um, where it's like an hour or so, but it might be an hour and a half even, too. So, just be prepared for that. So, grab your popcorn because we're about to dive in. So, I will be controlling uh, the main character, but these guys will be making every choice. And actually, this is our first main choice game. Every choice actually does kind of matter. Um, so, because in DDLC, they, there's an illusion of choice, but you the same outcome happens no matter what. Um, that is very much true. And that this is sort of similar, but each decision actually does matter. And you guys will see that later down the line. So, as you can see, no save game, no save data, just got it. Um, if you see any notifications, I'm on the PS4. Uh, this is our first PS4 game that we've recorded anyway. Um, so just be aware of that. Alright. So we got... I'm gonna see... I'm gonna see if I can put subtitles on for you guys. Uh, settings. Should be under... Probably under audio. Oh wait, I saw... Uh, yeah, language and subtitle settings. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, subtitles, yeah. yes, okay. Does normal. Subtitles, semi-opaque overlay. No, it's fine. Subtitle language. Yeah, okay. So this is... So they're already on. Yeah, they're already on. Okay, good. Okay. Nice. Uh, let me just double check. Game. Okay. All right. Let's do it. New game. Uh, Zach, can you just can you turn up the volume just to like twenty seven? Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all of your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Like I said, oh, no. these guys will be making... Well, I guess Stanley Parable is also a choice-based game, but these guys will be making decisions. I'm just controlling the main character. Jeez. Here we go. Starting off uh, interesting. With a thunderstorm. This oh. is also our first, like, graphically good game so far. Like I said, Stanley and um, everything else is cool looking, but... But this has, like... Full 3D cutscenes with the graphics. Yeah, this there's the, this is a story-based game, meaning there's some game, there's a lot of gameplay, but there's also a lot of uh, cutscenes. So, Alright, we seem to have woken in a storm. That makes perfect sense. Yup, and I guess they forgot to add the lip sync. Either that, or this is in her- or she's talking to herself in her head. Not sure. She this is on- this is made in Unreal. The, the lip sync's never gonna be that great. Oh. So the lighthouse is this way. Also, her shirt says John Doe, I believe, which is pretty funny. And it's- uh, instead of the word Doe, it has the picture of, um... Has the picture of a doe. Ha, <laughs> I, yeah. You laugh, but you'll see. I don't know see. who John Doe is. Oh, hi. Oh, Jeez. Hello. Oh, hello, tornado. Now, what's crazy is there's actually been tornadoes that big before. So that's, this is based, oh this isn't based God. on real events, but that, that's basically like what a real tornado that, could look like. Was that foaming in the water? Is that an ocean? Yeah, this has always been my concern. So they're going to call it a tornado, but technically it's a cyclone if it's starting from the ocean. Oh, so. yeah, that's right. They they were gonna call it a tornado, but it's technically not. But that's my one nitpick of this game is that it's a little 
It's a little, uh, it's not a tornado, technically. Yeah, no. Plus, there's water circling it, so that's definitely it. That's either hurricane or cyclone. Okay? I can't remember the difference between those two. I'm not really sure if, um, the oh, God. Uh, well. Uh, yeah, we are, um. Oh, just oh. a dream. Uh, <laughs> had a little hiccup there, that's fine. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I didn't life? fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? All right. Because of her images, look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Cool, oh, it's a picture. Is sure. Totally okay. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? So this is her diary. We're not reading all of it. You guys can pause and read it yourself if you feel if you want to, but this would take like like this 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 would take this would take this would like take a while. Five minutes or something. Th this would take a while. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm still sorry. scrolling. Well, like, if there's eight pages time. to it. Uh, these are the characters uh, bios, I think. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about these guys. Um, oh yeah, episode one, Trellis I don't know how to say that properly. Mm. Uh, but we do have messages, so we have um, Dad here. Have a, have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Uh, Kate, which was the girl we just saw that got like a paper thrown at her. Hey Max, you're around. Always, oh, you okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Uh, we have our mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to brought to us. Exo. So her name is Max. Hmm. Okay. And then Warren. Uh. You want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. Please, we may make sure to check out uh, NEK Romantic on my flash drive. <laughs> hey, hey, Mad Max, let's bust some crap up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. So if we if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. <laughs> He's a science nerd. Uh, don't <laughs> ignore this message. Too bad the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity is tortured, right? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. I think school itself should upgrade to the 21st century. Yeah, yeah. yeah really that should. Yeah, seriously. I should take a quick picture now. Why would you do that during class? Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? Nobody will know. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me or I don't know? Um, Square or circle? Square. You're asking me? Wait. <laughs> Not circle. Yeah, I would go with circle. I don't know. And, oh, I thought that said I did know. Oh, I did know. Yeah, yeah you're right. I That's what know. it says. I did know, so it's making, up ex it's making an excuse. And then, so circles making up an excuse. Uh, square is just like blowing it off completely. Oh, we can just wait here for twenty-four years. You can't. A uh, circle. Yeah, I'll go with circle. All right. I don't know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp, reflective style, like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. They can find out... The camera bag is battered, but still can't text Or even online. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. So we are in a photography school, obviously, if you could not tell that already. Okay. Don't waste a second kissing ass. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? I don't know what that means. Yes, you yes you are. Yeah. Yes, you very much are. You really like photos. Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Is Grunge Dead featuring the latest works from Mark Jefferson? That's the name of the teacher. Ten reasons to get elect electronic mail. Okay. <laughs> that was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you cannot tell, I'm going to put a content warning here just because that's what I did for DLC. Um, there's not like, there's not, I wouldn't say there's as ridiculous stuff as DLC, but there, there's some stuff that's a little ridiculous, though. So. She's also clearly tired. Uh, square or circle? I hope I didn't embarrass you, or you seem quiet today. I, I feel like I want to answer with something more nicer, just because Kate seems like a friend or something. Well, square would probably be the nicest option here. Yeah, I'd say yeah, square. I would go with square. Kate, okay, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Okay. Computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Sure. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, it also said to s yeah, some kind of marks on that. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Sure, why not? Let's take a picture. Rachel Amber, love forever. That's what it says. Okie dokie. So those are like the achievements. There it is. Uh, those are the achievements. So there's like hidden photos you can take all around uh, the world. Nice. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Yeah, you'll notice there's no like... I mean, there's a board, like a whiteboard, but there's no, um... Where is this projection? I can't tell. It, it looks like some kind of projection, but I don't see, like, a projection thing in here. Meaning they are, they are, he, he is quite expensive stuff in here. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson only expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Uh, are you an everyday hero? Find out. Enter to win. Everyday Heroes photo content. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. Deadline October 9th, 2013. The winner will fly to San Francisco and will represent their school in a national Everyday Heroes competition at the Zelt Geis Gallery on October 11th, 2013. You may submit one image on, approv on approved paper for consideration. For those 18 and under, a parent permission form must be included with the image. This seems to like take place in maybe 2013. Yes. Yes, this was like eight years ago. The forest around here always looks mysterious. I think this game was first made in 2013. Wow. That's how old oh. it is. The second one was uh, more recent. I think that was 2019. 20? No, I think it might have been 2018 or 2019. I can't remember. You can never escape the lighthouse here. The lighthouse. Wasn't that the lighthouse that sh that broke? Yeah. Trains? Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. Good thing he probably paid twenty grand for that camera. Good. I bet he gets pristine digital images. You have to pay. Tw but I still take my little Insta camera. If you have to pay twenty grand for one camera, gosh, you must be in a rough place in your life. Gosh, and good thing she didn't Excuse go in that me. lighthouse. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to, or I didn't have any time? Um. Hmm. I would go with square. Squares. 
Square's uh, like dismissing it, and then Circle is uh, coming up, coming up with an excuse. And I'm gonna stop with the excuses, Square. All right. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. That was the wrong choice. I know it's a drag to some old dude likes for you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Yeah, so he didn't like that. He didn't like that we said that. All right. Great. Nothing but left to leave. I was about to. Welcome to the real world. Welcome to high school. As someone who's currently in high school, I can say it's much better than whatever the frick heck hole this is. I'm I'm gonna be going to high school soon. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Now we got the credits. Very convenient spot to put that there. How? Well, because it's like we've. I forgot what no. I was gonna say. Clearly. Now all the music credits will be in the description. Square Enix, if you see this. So, hashtag please don't sue. <laughs> Episode 1, Corralysis. Or Sorelysis. I don't know how to say that. But either way. I think you're close on that. We got Evan. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. We got Alyssa. There's a science room. This is Taylor. Courtney. Okay, I don't think we have it yet, but there's a walk faster uh, button later on. Hmm. We got a locker, which I believe is ours. Yeah, I think that's our yeah, that's our locker. Yeah, I believe. yeah it is. All right. Posters. <laughs> I do agree. I think posters don't really do much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could. Yep. You didn't, that, that option didn't pass you by. You could. It looks like she's been gone for months. Missing from Acadia Bay. Date missing Monday, April 22, 22nd, 2013. Other age 19 years old. Height 5'5. Five five, weight 110 pounds. Hair blonde. Eyes hazel. Tattoo on call. Tattoo on calf of a dragon and star on the inside of left wrist. Rachel Amber, age 19. Please call with any information. Call Acadia Bay Sheriff's. And then there's the number. October Halloween party. Yeah, Halloween party. Don't be the PC. You missed the poetry young tryout, and I did not steal that backpack. Reward on September 16th, my backpack with all my school books and my ta my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria after I left it on the table. I really need the stuff for school. My tablet has a lot of very personal pics of my late cats. R.I.P. So I'm willing to pay small cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any details or would like to confess, you know who and where I am. Uh, poetry jam tryouts and for sale PC laptop fully loaded $600 blackwellacademy.ed hmm. Yeah, it's important. I think I left my AK at home. 
Oh, the gun for zone, yeah. Mm. Um. Oh, gosh. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Another poster. Well, well two of them. Mm. Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. So their school's mascot is otters. Uh, best singer ever in Oregon looking for best guitarist ever uh, to take over the world. There's a bunch of people. Uh, swim like an otter, so there's a swim team. Gonna try. Oh, yeah, Pierce Trevor. Oh, Bigfoot. That's the, I guess, the, the I don't know, because it's weird, like, so, oh, no, I think their swim team's mascot is otters, but I think the overall school's mascot is Bigfoot? I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to tell. I never really put that together in, uh, when I played this game. More missing posters. Alrighty. Oh, I don't think I went over here. Vending machine! Probably, yes. Pretty much. Yeah, you all crept on that. <laughs> just eat raw sugar. Just, just raw just, sugar. Just eat just regular sugar. Alright. Notice how the music was on her things. Not just background music. All right. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Yes. Well, if you have to ask yourself, are you going crazy? The answer is yes. Yes. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Well, you did until you did that. Well, I mean... A butterfly. When the door closes, a window opens. It's the butterfly effect. Or wink, wink. Something like that. Okay, bro, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Well, you also just tore up your other one, so... Yeah. In all fairness. You kind of. Whoa! Where did that butterfly come you from? You literally just saw it come you out of the ceiling. Saw it come from like the I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Excuse me, sir. This is the girls' bathroom. Yeah. Why is there Dude. a boy in the girls' bathroom? It's cold. Yes. Yeah. Don't stress. You, you, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You almost school. If I want it, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Yep. Matt, you had literally every opportunity to, like, tackle him or something. Yeah, you, this could have been Why easily we... preventable. Whoa. What the fuck? How? 
And we're back. Okay, then. In the bathroom, he shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow, from color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, can you give nice. me an example of a photographer? And now it's broken. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? It's L2 to rewind. We can rewind time. Wow. We're just that good. Let's fix our cl uh, thing. I did it. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Anybody? You Max, don't freak out. Not yet. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. It's called a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? I feel sick. I have to use the bathroom. Um. Um. I think we just say you have to use the bathroom. I don't know what the point of saying that you feel sick is. So you have to go to the bathroom. Or maybe if you say I have to go to the bathroom, that's just instinctual. If you're saying I, I feel sick, that's that's saying like you don't feel well and you should go to like to to the nurse or to the. It gets you out of class either way. Um, yeah, we. So yeah, I'm going circle. Yeah, I'll also go in circle. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try. And that was wrong. But dang it! Not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody? Oh, shit. Who knows Jefferson wants to keep me after yes. class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again? That kind of means you learned a useful fact that you may be able to use if you rewind. So we can actually answer the correct answer. Yes. Yes, so... We're running, hold R2 to rewind faster. Alright, stop. That was the decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Take that, Victoria. hugely <laughs> popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far away. I'm just that good. Yep, yes. we're, we're just that good. Take notes, Victoria. With the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. She Boom. actually can if she can mm -hmm. go back in time oh. and save Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She, even if she's... Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. That's what I was saying. Like, if, even if she's late, she can just rewind it. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding or not sure if I have one. She did rip it up. <laughs> she did do that, but... Mm. Well, if she has one, then if we just go at Soka, we would technically be lying that, and I'll probably be the wrong answer. So. Let's go uh, square. Yeah, I would go at square. I swear I that's wrong. Just waiting time, waiting for the 
elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I want to quickly undo your previous action. Victoria, you still All right, so we can't. Excuse me. Yeah. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of. Skip. John Lennon said. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that. Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Sweet. Yay. Yes. Got the right answer. So sometimes the right answer is rewinding and getting the correct answer. Mm. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. There's the run button. I can't tell anybody. Well, think not a run, it's more like a jog. Yeah, like a jogging or something. Yeah, because like this they This girl's said, about to get yeah. shot, let's faithfully jog. Yes. All the stuff is the same, so that's why I didn't, that's why I passed it a little bit. I washed my face, I washed my hands, I washed my Pull the fire alarm. <laughs> Conveniently, a hammer. We got, we got to take it quick. I, you just grabbed one. Yeah, I have a hammer. There we go. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah. Yeah, it just happens. This is a typical Tuesday. <laughs> Pretty sure it's Monday. Oh, same thing. You already know. You can rewind time. Situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Roast. <laughs> Freaking cue ball looking face. Yeah. Freaking. Nope. Hello, good sir. This is Principal Hello, Wells. Kind you principal. Out. Are you okay? I'm. I'm just a little worried about my. Future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Ooh, big choice. Report Nathan or hide the truth. Uh, all right, we got. Uh, all right, we got to report Nathan. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, we have to do that. Yes. All right. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. 
I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Is that going to mean your action will have consequences? Do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? We always rewind and check the other option. We can. Oh, wait. This is our only chance. Yeah. Once I leave the building, I can't do it again. Sure, let's see what happens. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, female trainer. Takes up your wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team too to get. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, Which one do you think is better? Not by that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. I think we should rewind back and do the other option. Yeah, we should. All right. Because if she, because this could all, because this whole entire thing can just all be a dream, and she could actually be in their house or in their lighthouse. You look a little stressed out. Are you? No, that's real. Uh, report. We've already heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, we already heard this. There we go. Okay, no going back now. They both have consequences. This action will have consequences. Alrighty. Blackwell Academy. I did actually go talk to him. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Just straight no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. We we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta say yes. So I would go with Squirrel. Uh, there is no yes option. There's sure or no. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Clear. Then difference. I'm gonna go with sure. Square. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. So David Madsen was the uh, guy that yelled at us and when we got out of the bathroom. So we can ask Dave Madsen, we can ask about the guys, we could say that's crazy, or it could have helped Rachel, who's that person that's missing. Let's go square. Ask about David? Yeah, I always do the same. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. I don't think she liked that option very much. Has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell, is that old, or the Native Americans, or you know a lot? So the, other, the first two are questions, that's just saying you know a lot for Circle. What do the Native Americans have to do with this? You just said the Native Americans that founded the location they're in. Interesting. Where are we going, people? Uh, triangle. 
Um, sure. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Sign or don't sign? Sign it. Yeah, it's sign. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. It's actually one of consequences. But she did see she did seem to like it, so. Look at all these missing po posters. Oh gosh. There's They're literally lo yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh. All the same posters. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. Probably her parents. Hey Hayden. <laughs> there she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, alright. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Not to boast. Uh, Vortex Club, we can ask about that, or Nathan Prescott. What's the Vortex Club? You would need to press square, square. to find out. Well, let's see what square does. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You know, the Vortex Clubber, I don't think so. So Square is saying, like, sure, maybe I'll think about it. Or Circle saying, like, probably not. Well, he's, well, he said... If we visit in one night, then then he, then we'll feel like gossiping, and that's not good. Eh. Unless if I'm sure. wrong. Well, well, I mean, it doesn't hurt our resume, so I guess just go with square. Yeah, all right. Then we hang with the Vortex Club. That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. They're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like. You know. Talk about Rachel now, we've unlocked that option. Or we can talk about Nathan, or we can just leave. Let's talk about Rachel. Alright, I would agree. So, you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. There's always that. Mm. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, did Victoria like Rachel? What happened to her? Rachel was in the Vortex Club? Question mark. Or I'm more confused. Let's talk later. Um, what happened to her? Square. Yeah. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. Um... Whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? No, yeah, accurate. Uh, true. Okay, now yeah. we can ask the other stuff. Did Victoria like Rachel, or Rachel was in the Vortex Club? Circle. Yeah, I'll go in circle. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. We can ask, did Victoria like Rachel, or we can leave? Triangle. Yeah, triangle. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. We can talk about Nathan or just leave. Soko. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's alright and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems unstable or fair enough. Let's just not bother him. Fair enough. But why would you go with that? To not make any any more angry. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucked. 
fucking hilarious when he's blazed. And he does always have the best shit. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Dana was the girl who saw in the hallway. This is uh, Stella, I believe. Hi, Brooke. Or yeah, Brooke? Nope. Yeah, Stella's cool. the other one. You want to fly my drone? I love to. Or is this is this legal? <laughs> is this legal? Yeah. Is this legal? <laughs> is that your choice? Yes. Yeah. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Ouch. Freaking roasted. Let's search her bag right behind what her. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. High fly B400. HD. HD graphics. We've unlocked something. Sorry, Max. Oh. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Skip it. Let me guess. Heard of it. That's a high fly drone. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EDO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? Because I, I looked in your bag. Drones are yeah. for that. We looked Especially in your bag. those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here. Get the drone and whirl around campus. Flying the drone! Wee. I don't know about HD. The school is looking a little fuzzy over there. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of fuzzy. Like, look at the school walls. It just looks fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I don't know about HD. <laughs> Dive bomb! <laughs> <laughs> the, t the teachers are probably so confused. They're like, what is that? Yeah, like, what is that? Is that? Do a barrel that can go on endlessly unless you quit. So we're just gonna quit. Mm. Mm. Mail from Warden. You, Warden. you got mail. Hi Max, can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Oh, Justin, check out the mat. Come to thrash? Oh, yeah, or thrash? Question mark. What's thrash? What, what like the thrash skateboard mean? guy in the background. Like skateboard. Or, or like to watch someone skateboard. Oh. Nah. There isn't, there's no no. Oh. There's no no. Circle. Alright. Circle. Such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slide or a trade flip, you should walk on. Didn't like that. Hey, All right. All right, let's go back. You guys are terrible at this. I know. No, Justin. Maybe I should decide first. Yeah, maybe. Came to no slide. He would have liked. Oh yeah, but you can do I this too. No slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a trade flip. Oh sick! You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skateboard shit. Oh, check it. We're going to destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? No slide or a tray flip. I don't know what either of these are. Tray flip. Yeah, tray flip. Go for a tray flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. And we've injured him. <laughs> nice. <Great. laughs> we injured him. This reminds me of like the... Oh, like a family guy. Oh, we oh. can photo him. Why would we take someone injured? <laughs> take a photo of someone. Why? Yeah. What if I take your like injured face? Yeah. Oh, your dying clothes. I have the drones right here. Take a look at. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Oh, you're. Uh, oh, oh, you're injured. Hold on. Let me get my phone now. <laughs> so if you had picked the other option, he would have been just fine. So you guys actually did pick the wrong choice again.
Oh my god, we suck it. This concerns me for the future of the game if they're making these terrible choices already. Fantastic. Clever. Vortex Club. Vortex Club sucks, I think. I don't know sucks. what it says. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong or- oh, sorry. Well, I don't feel like I want to pressure him too much, so I would just go with Circle. Circle. Oh, sorry. I don't bother you. That was the wrong choice. Let's Great! Let's talk later, okay, Max? Alright, reverse! No, there's no- there's no point. Oh. Well, that's just- I'm just letting you know that, that was the wrong choice. Man! Fantastic! They're just choices! Hey, yeah, but they impact the future. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Robert Kappa, Steve McCurry, Eugene Smith, or Robert... Whatever the last name is. Um... You guys aren't going to know this, so you might as well just pick randomly. Robert Kappa! I will go with X. You know, Isn't it Robert Dornell? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio pink for you. Alright. Hey, yeah, yeah. Let's see if you're working. Yeah, yeah. This was Zach's option. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. Yeah! That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Oh, I've unlocked it, I guess. Why not? These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Yeah, the 2D style drawing and, and the, like, Black and white of the picture is truly mesmerizing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 2D monochrome pictures. Hashtag not worth. Alright, this is the dormitories. Let's go. We have to go to the dormitories to get the flash drive. Like I said, this is a long game, guys, so strap in. Yes. Yes, you do. Hey, oh. Lisa. Hi, Max. How are you, or what are you reading? Um, let's... Square. Let's, yeah, let's go square. How are you doing? Fantastic. No. I'm by myself reading Chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading Chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Cool. Football. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Just... What if I intercept it? How about that? How about we play monkey in the mill? Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Big football. There's Kate. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How is class, or you look down? Um, I'm gonna say squirrel. I was gonna say circle. You people are impossible. Nice, bro. Alright, Nice, bro. Nice, bro. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything? Awesome. Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. That was very wrong. Yeah. Hi, Kate. Hey, Mac. Nice. Here was Zach's choice. Look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything, Max? Oh, it actually. Oh, it ends the same. Well, at least you show you care about her in that in that part of it. You're Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Well. Hello there. 
What's with these posters? Or you look busy. The posters are like the Ray Travel posters, I'm assuming. Like I said, I played this game like six years ago. I don't remember everything about it. Uh, nice, bro. Um, Square. Sure. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Oh, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't cover over that sunlight. What happened? You knew Rachel, or what was she like? A triangle. Awesome. I wanted to go and squail. Well, we can exhaust all these options. Which one, which one do you want to do first? Well, let's do square. Yeah, Rachel. Awesome. How can you go to a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Uh, Zach want a triangle? What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. He even, he even speaks weird. It's Nugget. Pretty much. What was she like? Nugget if he turned into she a janitor. <laughs> it's Nugget and the janitor shadows. combined into one. <laughs> Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch you step around here, Max. After I sweep. <laughs> I've always loved that. After I sweep, I paint. <laughs> it's great. Very silly thing to get from a journal. All right. Oh boy. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hall of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wake up bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. Ha. <laughs> huh. Ha. Huh. I don't get Since it. You know all I don't the get it. I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Yeah. Oh, wait. Well, first of all, you're oh, in uh, college and using the word ain't. Like. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social media. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? I mean, literally. Oh, yes, Victoria. We could oh, literally just. I mean, th there's. Go there's, around. There's, there's there's space right here, but you know. yeah, yeah. Right there. yeah but there's get, they, there's got to be guys, guys. There's got to be interactive gameplay. There's too there's too much cutscenes so far. There's got to be some kind of interactive gameplay. Yeah, yeah. We gotta amp up that gameplay. Okay, where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Probably in the school. No. After I sweep, I paint. Oh, well, he wasn't lying. I guess yep. we could go up the Door ladder, break the wind, break the roof down. It's not how that works. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look Ten bucks? I can't even chill on the steps. Boo. Ha ha. ha. Boo hoo, Victoria. Boo hoo. Ha. After I sweep. I'll paint. I love that. It's awesome. Samuel is one of my favorite uh, characters. After I sweep, I paint. Oh. If that's, that's under Victoria, I, that would be. We might be able to rearrange that. After I sweep, guess I what? Paint. <laughs> I paint. Okay, I gotta do this. I get them off the steps. But now, since we've tampered with the paint, it's gonna drop onto the toilet. Now, this part doesn't make a lot of sense to me because he's carrying it and he's holding a lot of weight. But the second it gets on a pole, it does that. <laughs> and now because she's all wet, it's gonna dry faster. Poor Samuel didn't get to paint. 
Can you get uh, paint? Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Ooh, make fun of her comfort. Um. Ooh. I don't want to be a jerk. Let's. I'm gonna go circle. Yeah. I feel like she'll be mad at you either way, but I'll just go with Soko. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. No. No. <laughs> but there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Was it? Was it though? Was the sense of humor is interesting, Max. I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Alright, well. So she likes us if we do if we do that. Victoria or we could probably played me. I should have played her. Oh. Better get to my room before I find her. Or we can rewind and try to be mean to her. Or we can stick with the option we have. I would stick with the option that we have. Yeah, I was I was gonna say we could just go back and see what happens and then reverse and then just go with the, with this option, but nah. Just, well, let's... making fun of her, she just gets upset and she doesn't like you even more. So yeah, yeah, and so, and so that was the correct option. Is well, they're both technically correct. It's depending on how you want to play, but to me, that's the correct option. Is comfort. Yeah, and and some consequences are actually good. The consequences can be defined as good and not and not always bad. Uh, that's oh, the backpack thing. Okay, cool. Get the towels. We took so long. Yeah, seriously, what did it take you so long? It's a yeah, towel. Oh yeah, it's just towels. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. College slash high school usually does. Welcome to Black Hill. <laughs> okay, um so yeah, you can see all the names. So Max, so we are in dorm two nineteen. Or we're in the room two nineteen. Red rum. Murder! Stomping Bigfoots. Uh. We this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Carol is a slave. I don't know who that's. 224. Welcome to Black Hill. Oh, that is Taylor. No. <laughs> Alright. Missing more missing posters. I want to paint. Okay, there's a the bathroom. Uh, is there anything important? Beeler on campus. Observe the following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are or where you're going. Always report any incident immediately to the campus authorities. To download a free campus alert app, go to www... Yeah, whatever. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Greek Girls Book Club. Looking for like-minded souls to read and discuss authors. All those people. Cool. Uh, no boy... Oh, no boy wizards or sad vampire fiction allowed. Sorry, Zach, you're not allowed. Hey! Yeah, you're not allowed. No boys, period. Great. Another bathroom. Let's to do the fire alarm again. That seems like a yeah. good idea. Yeah. Peace, bro. Peace. This is Kate's uh, room, by the way. That's Max's room. Stairwell. The forks. <laughs> As oh. it's a tomato. 3.14, pie, pie, pie. Pie. Lauren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Pie, pie, pie. Get the change you wish to see. 
Gandhi. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Okay. I think that's the only room we can go in. I mean, this one's open, but we can't go in it. All right, Max's room. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. All right. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? Yes. I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Mom, leave me alone, mom. <laughs> Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. So the principal didn't do anything about Nathan. Great. Thanks, principal. Mm. All right. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. No one even says that anymore. I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Okay. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julie I would, but you're talking to yourself. Talk yeah. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I mean, so can you. Well, you can reverse time, you can't freeze time. But same, but you can basically leave time in a frozen state. Yeah, they're both having to do with time ma ma manipulation. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. I was gonna say, you don't even have a TV in here. Yes, why do you, you even, even have, have a TV? Them? I haven't forgotten little Lisa. Yet. So what are the plan? You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. There we go. <laughs> this action will have consequences. What? It'll grow the taller? Plant, no, the plants will eat all. Yeah, it's a little shop of horrors all over again. Only if true fans of anything will get that reference. We can play guitar. We'll do that last. Cookie. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a two hundred dollar gift certificate. Wow. She shouldn't what? Have make a sad two hundred. Two hundred bucks and chocolate coconut bites. What the frick, dude? Hashtag now. jelly. I'm lucky my parents. And no, it's coconut, not jelly. Happy, oh, happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were b born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. Miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. XX. Okay. We could photo ourselves. It's a double selfie. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> double selfie. We first have our meal and then our. Those, uh, those kind of. They're not. Well, I guess they are selfies, but those selfies are kind of really cliche. They're kind of stupid. At least I find them stupid. Alright. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or who, whom it may concern. The cinematic contents of this flash drive are are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate Sick you on your taste and eagerly await you in your in-depth review of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace. Warren G. Peace. No! Warren even left mm. you a little message. I picked the time oh. pair. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Yeah? You <laughs> swallowed so an cheesy, eye but It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Alright, let's play guitar. Yeah, let's play the guitar. I believe this is the plot forwarding thing. Unless I'm wrong. I might be the lie down thing, I don't know which one. Oh no, it's grabbing the flash drive and leaving, that's right. Great. <laughs> Wait, we're done. Like three, maybe it's three a, seconds. It's another one. Well, no, you can let that go on forever, but there's no point. Okay, lying down is also the same thing. We can just let I it go on like forever. I feel like that was the intro music to the um to the title. I'm so addicted to this site. Look at those vintage peonies. That makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. 
Uh, warm Graham. Uh, warm blog, okay. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now, I shall never stop sending you message of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV, cult, classic, and screwed up films that I'm on flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a, sci I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now, you can quickly explain to me how, to, how a camera works. <laughs> how a camera works. Nice. Sticky note. Looks like Dana left me a little now. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need a back, just track me down in my room. Great. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Wasn't even in here. Fantastic. <laughs> Oh, more conflict. Great. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What does she do, or she's your friend? I'm a square. I would agree. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Mason, Juliet Padson, Juliet Olson, or Juliet Watson. Um. I believe it told us this once. I know it, obviously, because I remember, but it told you guys once, I believe. I wasn't paying attention. Clearly not. <laughs> And that's why you guys are sucking at the uh, thing. Zach says X. I would go with X. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sex. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Scavenger mission. What? <gasps> Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. TP war. TP. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this was open. she puts her photographs out there unlike me dear miss chase thank you for your submission to the croft gallery unfortunately your work is not compatible with our mission statement we pro we appreciate your effort and wish you best success in future endeavors best amanda croft owner croft gallery eugene orlando i think that's what that is oof but we can mess up our photos nah no let's just we can just look at them maybe oh, we can look at them Sputting of selfies. Oh, they're all selfies. Oh. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Could you? Shoes. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Way to promote your own product, Square Enix. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Is the Vortex Club a cult? Uh, not reading all that. It's but the titles and the the meaning of the things in the title. Another missing poster thing. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Real collection images by Mark Jefferson. Uh, international photographer Mark Jefferson, local expedition November 5th, December 1st, 2009, Bean Hip Cafe, bring the ad for a dollar off. A whole dollar off. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Jewelry. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Laptop. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. 
And for this nice shot. Victoria Maribeth Chase, friends 857, subscribers 1,126. And because we were we comforted her and didn't be mean to her, she didn't post the photos. If we had, she would have done it. Boom. Mm. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor's so sad to inform me that I totally punked Julia and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Julia that I saw an, uh, sex from Dana and Zach's phone, or Zach's phone. Okay, so yeah, this is the thing we need. Okay. We can print it. There we go. Take it. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Fetch quests. Yes. All right. Oh, I th I thought Victoria was gonna be out there like, what the what the crap are you doing in my room? No, she's still drying off her paint. Cause after he sweeps, that been scary. he paints. Juliet, read this. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dina. You are. And I hope so. You really think I mess around with Zach? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren Splash Drive. What kind of door you? locks from the outside? Very good question. I'm very concerned for the structure of the school if doors lock from the outside. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Cheerleader outfit. Flash drive. Uh, yep. yep. There's that damn flash drive. Boink. So, so take it. Protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. That was a little much. Uh, that, that was just a little much. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. So fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. I mean, that's more and like... Yes, Max. So terribly wrong. I mean, yes, that's like that's like a, a thousand, but it's not a million. Friends, 1,083. Subscribers, 2,554. Hmm. Uh, oh, this is a conversation. Juliet, hey girl, thanks for the party favors. Uh, Trevor, what's up, Dana? Justin, coach, looks like Super Mario. If you want to come over, we can blaze and play or go for a walk. Let me know. I'll be here, still here. Hello. Cool. This is both sad and pathetic. Uh, then I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb butt forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I had. I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I, you know, you saw how I pushed out. If you need any money, let me know, Logan. That was the guy that was playing football in the, uh, whatever the place was. Football. Foots. Hey Dana. Seriously. Thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Joy is not nice, or Juliet gets her rage on. Um. Either way, we're bad mouthing one of them. Square. Wait a minute. Circle. Let's pick something here, people. I would go with circle. Juliet it's the big decisions you gotta take some time on, but I these you don't need to take that much time on. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Is he a good guy, or what do you mean? Square. Square. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Okay. Think we're good. Yes, we are ready. We are ready to leave. Okie dokie. And now we can get the frick out of here. Well, they weren't. Got something for one. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more, the more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. 
just like buying. I love watching the cars. <laughs> yep, I can count them. I can count all the different cars. One, two. What? Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Boink. Get out of the way. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yeah, well, well, yeah, but he has to pay for that window now. Extra of consequences. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Nice job, Zachary. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Cool. Great. The Prescott Dormitory. Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm. Yep. Great. Sucks to suck. Go to parking lot. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo or intervene. Another big choice. What is, does intervene mean like help or something? Yes, intervene means helper. Well, obviously circle. she's our friend. So, yeah, circle. Okay. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Wrong choice. So we helped her, but we're also in bad stuff with oh, him. Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. So, yeah, the, so we help her and she's very appreciative of it. Yeah. What do you think we should do? I wonder what happens if we do. Yeah, but. That didn't answer my question. Mm, okay. Would we have to stay on that on that decision if we just mind our own business? We can't go back to like No, if I go to parking lot we're stuck with whatever decision we made. That's how that works. So what are we doing guys? <laughs> we're on schedule here. Reverse for what? You wanna see the other decision? Yeah. Sure. If we don't like that, then we can just go then we can just go back to to uh the you are terrible at talking, you know that. I know, I know. Okay, we've seen it. Take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Is that a decision you wanted? Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I say we go I back. Yeah, we have to go back. That was the other good option. What do you mean other good option? There's only two options. The the first option we did was better. Intervene. There we go. All right, it's locked in. All right. What's nice about this game too is it will show it will show us how many people picked these options. Cool. Want to know what else does that? Another great game, Minecraft Story Mode. <laughs> it's the best game ever made. You, you should stop talking. <laughs> just stop. You should honestly just just, just no just stop. stop. Just, just do just, do just, just do stop. everyone a favor. Just stop talking. <laughs> just <Sorry>. stop. <laughs> It's really not that funny. I'm sorry. Hey, let's count the cards. Yeah. One. Two. One car, two cards. Well, actually, that's a truck, not a car. Oh, oh, oh my mistake. Yeah, that's a, that's. A, I don't know what you're thinking. Cars equal death. Cars equal death. I mean, a, I mean, a bike is not too much better, but. Sure. You don't have protection in a... In a car, you have somewhat protection. In a bike, if you fall or... 
Like, yeah, you have, have a crash, you're practically dead. You have the most protective source of protection ever. A helmet. The whole surveillance system. That's how it starts. Car theft warning. Over the past few months, there have been multiple break-ins of faculty and student vehicles in the Blackwell parking lot. A new surveillance system is being installed, but you should make sure your vehicle is always secure and, and locked. For more safety tips, contact Dave Madsen, security officer, Blackwell administration. Yep. Cool. That's a big boy truck. That's an RV. Have you seen slash, slash camper? Have you seen any camper slash RV in your life? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean we can draw on it. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. Clean me. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> no, the face. We can photo it. I'm so dirty. I'm so dirty. <laughs> so dirty. With a meh face, like. With like a meh. Cool. Get that achievement. <laughs> Check it out. No. No! <laughs> Missing poster, again. I think that's everything. This is Warren's car. Look at Warren in his way back machine. He's a brave man. Is he? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong Only track. 60 miles. But then... So am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I paid money to see a photo of that. Really? Or I didn't I don't want to talk. Square. Square. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so. That drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks, or I've been busy. Um. Square. Shell. Yeah, thanks. You got some cool shit on there. From Akira to Twilight Zone? Which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it or no freaking way. Um. Just pick one. Square. It's not a big decision. So, seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. The square, or the, the, the triangle is a quote from a movie, I guess. Uh, how so, or not at all? What did he say? Don't know. You should, maybe should be paying attention. Square. I, th I think he was offended by us uh, saying that, was, that he was sensitive. Well, that wasn't a choice. Oh. Then, yeah, square. How so? Sensitive usually means I won't be having sex with you. Oh god. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of taking fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk or don't want to talk or don't want to speak about it. Um I'm just going squares at this point. Sure. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh boy. You're one oh of Jefferson's no. photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Told him the truth, or what Answer are you talking me, about? Bitch. 
Um, Squail. Yep. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, or I could, I could call the police. Um... I feel like if we angle him more, he'll pull out a gun and shoot us. Make a choice, people. Squirt! Sure. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. That was the wrong choice, wasn't it? Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, not that. or that whore leave in the bathroom. <sighs> Well, can't do that one. This is left warden. Warden. Warden? warden. That's a warden. mob coming to Minecraft. Mascot is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing, or I have no idea. Um, circle. Circle. I have no idea. I know he's a press card. An asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess or no. Um. Square? Yeah. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, or only for Mark Jefferson. Um, Squail. Yeah, I was about to say. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Give me a break, I wanted to, or I'm sorry. Um... I don't think sorry's gonna work. Um, how about square? Yeah. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. That was wrong. You've been at Dang. Well for almost I'm sorry it was right. No said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Don't be 
be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Don't think that's the thing. Yeah, I don't feel like that's the correct. You know, I I've heard I've heard it a couple home, times. Sweet home, not I've, that. I've heard it a couple times, and you know, I, something just tells me I don't think that's right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Now, of course, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but there is uh, Life is Strange. Um, there's like a 1.5, and there's a Life is Strange design. 2, which we'll be doing. Chill out zone, my step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Good. Don't play without any power. Well, turn on your power, Chloe. Yeah, Chloe. There we go. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Well, we can always find out. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Cool. Okay, let's play the music. Houston, we have the power. But we will not defend the disc to play. Freaking TV. Uh. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Wow. I think this junk swallowed her discs. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Yeah, there we go. We knew who we, we found out who printed all the flyers. Ah. Uh. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Oregon State Police write written warning, RDK, Arca Arcadia Bay traffic ticket, parking infraction, parking warning ticket. Obviously, she was a good friend. I'm trying to be nosy, but I was looking through her things happily. Yeah. That's Rachel Amber, or so who is she? Square. You know, square. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So Rachel took my place. I never forgot. Um. Circle. Yeah, circle. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were going to kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. Bigfootville. I see why, so what happened, or what about your mom? Um... School... Where? Show sure. Square. Square? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know, or what about her parents? Um, circle. Yeah, circle. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. 
gone. Can I put on some music now? Is that the wrong choice? There were no wrong choices. Oh. CD! So we're in 2013, but we're still using CDs. I feel like we grew out of those back then. You know that... We grew uh, out of okay, CDs so, in like 2006. So, Chloe, you have a phone that you can play music on. Just to let you know. Anyway, I can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. All right. This postcard is from Rachel Amber. Uh, miss you. Wish we were here. Reach. Chloe Price, 44. Okay, that's her. Yeah, so we're in Oregon. Let's just look at our stuff. We had such a blast drawing these together. With Chloe and Max. She's a killer. Power Girls, Max, Chloe, and Super Kitty, Freedom Eagle, Cosmic Snail, Black Hole, Danger. Back to Chloe. 2007. All right. Fix all camera. I can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. Oh, dark. I cannot see anything. I mean, you, you could, you could. Yeah. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Uh, fluoxerine tablets. Well, I knew what those were for. I don't know, but I, I don't know what those are for. So. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. In case you couldn't tell, it's hair. Yes, yes. it's a hair color that's in blue. I should probably turn the light off. Yeah, we should turn that light yeah. off. I'm not gonna leave it on. And not They'll never the know. Going downstairs. Kate. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem. That guy is a butthole. The reverses to Chloe, I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Awesome graphics. The news. I don't think there's a way to tell what they're covering, but... Again, don't want to waste power. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Diners always seem to have, like, the best food. I don't know what it is. Yeah, like the underrated the places. The underrated places, yeah. Hmm. Cereal, milk, peanut butter... What does it say? Oh, chocolate, cake, oil, banana, oil, bananas, toilet paper. Donuts. Give me a donut. Give me the donut. Travel money. I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. I cannot take said donuts. We cannot take the donuts. I want a refund. I can't take donuts. Man, you know what? That's it. Zero out of ten can't take donuts. Food, food cart monthly. Hot Wheels, wood oven pizza carts. You could go outside, but they're, they're waste time. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever. Chloe, remember that stain? Seems accurate. Here's the grudge. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe 
always stepped at as head of security at Blackwell. He Ooh. wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school. How paranoid can you get? Remember him? Yeah, wasn't yes. that man who yelled at Kate? Yep, he's the dad of Chloe. Or the stepdad. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Dave Madsen, 2013. It's all of his weapons. Yes, score. You didn't do anything. Yeah, you didn't really. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. So you turn this on. Shake it! Congratulations. Very smart, dumbass. No can reach. I mean, you, if you got on the ground, you probably could try, but you know. Can't do that! So, what you gotta do is you gotta push this under. Convenient cardboard is convenient. And then turn and it then on. We and turn then it on. you do that. Except this time, because of the convenient cardboard, we can pull it out. Yes. Do you? Especially when we have the power to uh, go back in time. Oh, I should probably turn this off. Yeah, turn that off. There we go. Uh, map. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Placement of cameras. So there's one on the carpet lot, or parking lot, bunch all over the school. And then summon the dormitories. Hmm. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Hmm. Alright, should probably close that. Leave no trace. Hide the we did nothing. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Have you tried password? Yes. I've heard password is always a good password. Yes. Yes, it's very is. The best password ever. That just looks like food. It is. I wonder what's in those files up there. Nice. Butterfingers. Nice. Now they're soaked. Nice. Kate Marsh. Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Kate Marsh, she okay, knows this something. This is getting totally weird. Blackwell Academy. Mm, should we reverse back? To yeah. Well, now we know the contents of it, so now it doesn't matter. Awesome. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Food! Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. I don't know about a hundred, but you know. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Uh, we should probably not, we should probably go back to where we came, because if we open that, she, she might leave it open. I can't remember what she does with it. Well, this is already open. Answering machine. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I'm ordered. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Hmm. I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. Was. Well, there was because you already <laughs> listened to it. For it doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Your statement is enclosed. Urgent. Your electricity bill is inside. Past due. Hmm. Taxes. You must Curse always. You. you must always pay your pay your taxes. Well, school doesn't teach you for that because they like <laughs> don't care, care less about your future. You found the tools. Sweet. 
You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. I'll do that. With your very clean desk. Yeah, I mean, she can push stuff away if she needs yeah. to. Have you ever tried punching it? I've heard that work sometimes. I can't fix this thing. Like I said, try punching it. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo you brought? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. You're welcome. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there or I wasn't there? I was there, the square. It is me. I was there, the square. I totally did not, I, I, I did not purposely I mind that. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Well, you also were just conveniently in there already. When I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure or not at all. There was no yes answer. Because she didn't. That's why there's no yes answer. Um, square circle, people. I'm pretty sure if we do square, it won't be as harsh. So we should probably do that. I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of a day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit or not really? Just a bit. Yeah, we did. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Uh, absolutely or like who? Absolutely. We told the principal. That's true, we did. Yeah, we did. Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. How scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash from Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Blow it up! Yeah, Just dance. Dance. <laughs> dance, in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that pony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. Achieve it. Closet. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Oh no. Great. Let me not do that. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. 
Now we can move. Stay hidden or step in. Oh, oh no. This one will probably be This better. one does matter a lot actually. Yeah, it does matter very a lot. Actually, I think this is the last big decision of the episode. I can't remember. Mm, I don't Either know way, it's do. one of the bigger ones. Kate's Kate's was a big one and this is a bigger one. I don't know. Oh what no. To do. Kate's big the Kate's thing won't pay off until episode 2, but you'll see. But this one does pay off. If you pick the correct thing. Oh no. Both are technically correct in their own right, but the one's a better option. Mm. What were we oh. thinking? Square or circle? I want to go with the better option. Which is? I don't, if I don't know what that is. I don't know what. This one's hard. I don't know which one would be better, just to stay hidden or to step in. Because. Chloe didn't want us to step in. Well, you could always in. try both. That's which one you want to do first. We can. Step in. Step in first? Yeah, let's do that one first. Ooh. I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do Get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max? Let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. All right, let's try the other option. I will say, I think you guys picked the better option first. Good. At least the way I play these games, you'll see why I say that. One second! My bra is stuck! Hide. There we go. Stay hidden. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave Joyce! But like now! Yep, that's why. That is why. You get slapped in the face. I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. So that happens, but we also don't get mixed into the to the mix. Hey, you okay? mm -hmm. Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Well, now we know that's true. Anyway, 
Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cold place we can go to in this heck hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? What are we sticking with, people? Now that you know both options. I want to go, go to back the... yeah, go and back. step in. Alright. Step in. Yes. There we go. Skip it. We've seen it. There we go. Cool. Alright. Leave Chloe's room. The lighthouse. Yes. The lighthouse. That is indeed a lighthouse. But I wonder if he I wonder if it paints. And sweeps. After I sweep, I paint. Yes. Paint? I paint. Yes, he must have painted the lighthouse. Maybe maybe he painted the lighthouse. A deal. Yeah, maybe That's he a did. dough. Oh dough. I don't I don't know my animals. You don't. That's Get good. It's a dough. Totally reminds me of Get good on your doughs and deers. It's a dough. It's a dough. It's the dodo. Yep. Dodo bird. Yep. Dodos. It's the doo doo bird. Yeah, it's the doo doo bird. <laughs> so why do I feel like I was just here? Because you were. Yeah. Yeah. You, you saw the freaking tornado. I Meaning it's symbolic in some way. Haha. <laughs> Whoa. Warren, Earth to Max, you, your white knight Warren here. I, I know you were worried about me, so he showed a picture of his black eye. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call back later. Okay, I swear. No problem. And you still have to tell me your big secret. Kick. Nobody says that. Nobody says that. Nobody. Nobody, nobody says that. What does that even mean? Like okay. Escape. Sure. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. How long has that been? Trust no one. Trust no one. Trust no one. Hey, hey, that sounds familiar. Wait, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Let's go in the lighthouse. Yeah, let's go in the lighthouse. Darn it. Racing up and down the steps. Darn it, it's locked. Gosh darn it. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. It's, it's Illuminati. Illuminati confirmed. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? Uh, an animal. Turn this way now or face the lonely autumn tree and never look back. Strange. Yep, that's, yep, that's a haiku format. That's nice. You sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. Uh, my name is Max. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're in a good mood, or my pleasure. Um. Um. Pick one, people. Square. Square. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on Kate, or I should have taken his photo. So this is relating back to Kate's situation, um, which we stepped in. Square. Yeah, Square. She freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah, or files, question mark? We did. Yes, we did peek on. Oh, yeah, I 
couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's a war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Why are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He's so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? What's Nathan's secret? Um... Circle? Um, sure. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with black stuff. And he dosed me with some drug as well. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't call me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. What about Nathan or how much? Um... Squirrel. Yes, yeah, Square. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling and crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. Max, it was insane. I'm so furious, or that, that is ridiculous. Is the outward of word I would use there. Square. Um, yeah. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So the man in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, or let's call the police. Um. I feel like I want to go at Soko. Yeah, I kind of do. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. You already told the principal, and I'm sure it's useless. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. And we're back. And Question. It's a ghost, though. A ghost. Well, that's um, keep going. Lighthouse. Now we're, we were further back than we were before. Yeah, we were. 
Follow the ghost. We, we follow the follow. ghost, though. Whoa. Thanks. Oh, he got rid of it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen that before? Oh my lord. The tornado is back. Um, actually. Well, there's the lighthouse. We were standing there last time, but now it's destroyed. Later. <laughs> yep. Bye. Bye. Do we need to rewind it because I had the bridge? There we go. The dough. Newspaper. Read it. Yep. And now it's gone. This is the future. That must be where the episode ends. It probably is. We have this, we have Stop this. talking. Sorry. Pay attention. That is the end of episode one. Man! Gosh. About two hours, yeah. Well, to be fair, we were searching around everything. Uh, if you don't search around for anything and just follow the story, it's usually about an hour and a half. Man, this game Gosh. is really good. It gets uh, really it gets better. Um, yeah. And this ain't no, like... And like, 
like some like some story based games were were and sometimes they'll say that story based but but it's not but it's not but like, it's not yeah yeah like, like DLC tell, it's the illusion Telltale I think had that problem where it's like the choices didn't ultimately matter <coughs> Minecraft story mode <coughs> we get it stop with the Minecraft story mode Sorry. seriously anyway but yeah the, so that was um that was the first episode I believe I can skip this I can to see our choices. You reported Nathan. Uh, we could see. There it goes. Uh, you reported Nathan. Sixty-five percent of players did that. Mm -hmm. uh, you can. Yeah. You com comforted Victoria. Sixty-six percent of players did that. You intervened to help out Kate. Uh, Eighty-two percent did that. And then you came out of hiding to intervene. Thirty-one percent did that. Uh, you took the blame for Chloe. You blamed Chloe. You stayed hidden. Two percent blamed Chloe. I guess. Also, oh, the majority just stayed hidden. I guess. Yep. You didn't let David draw your portrait. Uh, I think we skipped that. Um, 65%. You signed Miss Grant's petition. 36% did that. You helped Alyssa. 76% did that. You erased the insults on Kate Slate. 45% did that. You... Oh, you watered your plant. 65% did that. You didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. I, I didn't see a reason to. Uh, you didn't touch Victoria's photos. Uh, that, yeah, that was the thing we could mess up. Uh, you wrote on a you wrote on a dirty RV. <laughs> you let the bird die. Huh? I don't remember doing that. Yeah, I remember that. But we're in the majority for that too. Maybe, maybe a bunch of people did that. Uh, you didn't break Chloe's snow globe again. I don't see where we would have done that. Uh, you didn't leave any evidence. Boom, got it. Yeah. And you and you read David's files. Cool. Oh, these, yeah, so these are, these are the world stats. Cool. All right. That was the intro to episode two. Episode two, Out of Time. So we will be tackling that uh, next time because, obviously, this is this will be cut down just a tad bit, but so it will be around two hours, but... Yeah, um, that was Life is Strange Part 1. Like I said, each session will be one video, uh, because this game is quite long. Um, and I don't want to create, like, a 20-part series of this, of just this one game. Because remember, there's Life is Strange 1.5, which is only three episodes long. And then there's, eps and then there's Life is Strange 2, which is five episodes long again. Um, and of course, True Colors is coming out, which I assume is probably going to be five episode like, series, just like the rest of them are. I assume, unless it's another 2.5 kind of situation, but I don't know. But yeah, that was, um, that was Life is Strange, guys. Mm -hmm. It is pretty strange, and you'll notice the title screen has changed with a storm brewing in the background. Because obviously the tornado thing. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, each of your choices actually does matter. Like I said, uh, a bunch of the choices we've made this time, the talking ones don't matter all that much, but the, um, the big decisions where it's like time has stopped and you have to, t to choose one or two, um, those actually do matter. Um, and I feel like these guys made some pretty good decisions with those. They did make some, they made, they made a couple mess ups with some of those. They made a lot of mess ups with the talking ones, but, you know, that's, that's, that's par for the course here. Hey, we have time travel. We can just go back and we mess up. No, we can't. You can't go back that far. You can only go back a certain amount. Uh, but yeah, so that is Life is Strange. So I will probably make this a playlist. So on the left, check out the Life is Strange playlist. Like I said, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably, Life is Strange will probably include all the different games. Or I might just make it its own series. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to tell. Um, and on the right of that, there's no game that really compares to this. But I will recommend DLC because it's, it's, an, it's an illusion choice game. But it's also a horror game. So take that as you will. And of course, guys, consider subscribing for the content you are seeing. Uh, I think... We will definitely be back with this at some point. Like I said, I don't know how, when we'll be back because it's a long game and um, it takes a while to record. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.